Midia has just dropped something incredible Llama 3.1 Nemetrin, a beast of a model with a whopping 70 billion parameters, designed specifically for instruction. And the wild part? It's outpacing all the big name closed source models. Once again, open source innovation is leading the pack, showing that despite the massive resources behind closed systems, open source is pushing the boundaries of what AI can achieve. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, especially because NVIDIA didn't just roll out another model, they introduced a groundbreaking technique to get these results. It's worth diving into how they pulled this off because it's really interesting stuff. So, if you look at the stats, Llama 3.1 Nemetron is absolutely dominating the leaderboard on the LEM Arena iHard benchmark. That's no small feat. Let's break down exactly what NVIDIA did. They started with the Llama 3.1 model as the base and then fine-tuned it further using reinforcement learning, which is a key factor in why this model has managed to outperform even the top closed source models. For those of you interested in the nitty-gritty benchmarks, Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70 billion is crushing it, scoring 85.57 and 8.9 on the MT bench. And here's the kicker, it's surpassing not only Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but also GPT-40, which was recently unveiled as OpenAI's next-gen, do-it-all model. It's pretty clear that AI is getting crazier by the minute, and what NVIDIA has done with Llama 3.1 is just the latest example of how things are evolving. Before we dive any deeper into the AI madness, take a second to smash that like button, subscribe to AI Gridlock, and share this video with your friends to stay up to date with the latest in the world of AI. Now, let's get into why this is all so mind-blowing. Not only is Llama 3.1 Nemetron outperforming closed source models, but it's even outpacing the Llama 3.145 billion instruct model which is much larger in size. It's crazy to think that despite the smaller parameter count, the way they trained this model has allowed it to leapfrog over the competition. And here's where things get really interesting. The fine-tuning process they used made all the difference. Mivii introduced a new technique that takes model training to the next level. In the Hugging Face description of the model, they talk about a cutting-edge reward model that focuses on better aligning the AI with human feedback. And trust me, people love how this model responds. So the researchers tackled two main approaches to reward modeling, the Bradley-Terry method and the regression method. Both are designed to help AI deliver more accurate, useful responses by assigning reward scores based on performance. The Bradley-Terry method compares different responses to the same prompt and ranks them, while the regression model predicts a numeric score based on factors like helpfulness or correctness. But here's the kicker, these two methods posed a real challenge because the models are typically trained on different data sets, which makes it hard to compare their outputs directly. Yet, Nivea found a way to overcome this and produce a model that's both efficient and effective. Fine-tuning and innovative reward models are game-changers in AI development, and Llama 3.1 Nemetron is proof that we're only scratching the surface of what's possible. This is where NVIDIA's genius truly shines. To solve the challenge of comparing models trained on different types of data, the authors of this breakthrough introduced a new dataset called Help Steer 2. This dataset cleverly includes both types of data preference rankings using the Bradley-Terry method and Likert scale ratings for regression. By blending these approaches, they created a way to make more meaningful comparisons between different AI models. This combination allowed for a more comprehensive evaluation of model performance, and it's a big reason why this new Llama 3.1 Nemetron model is beating the state of the art. Essentially, NVIDIA used advanced reward models to fine-tune the AI's responses. These reward models help the AI produce better, more accurate answers by scoring its outputs and guiding future responses. The magic behind Help Steer 2 is that it uses both preference rankings and numeric ratings to train the reward models more effectively. This fusion of approaches led to top scores on a benchmark called Reward Bench, showcasing just how powerful this method is. By combining these techniques, Midia managed to leap past the competition and outperform even the most cutting-edge systems. Now, let's dive into how NVIDIA's model performed on the Arena Hard Auto benchmark. For those who don't know, Arena Hard and Auto is an automatic evaluation tool designed specifically for instruction-tuned large language models, LLMs. It contains 500 tough query tooled from the chatbot Arena, 
And here's the kicker they use Jept 4 Turbo as the judge to compare each model's responses against the baseline. So we're talking high-level competition here. What's really impressive about Arena Hard Auto is that it has the highest correlation and separability compared to other open-ended WOM benchmarks. This means it's super accurate in evaluating how well bottles perform in real-world, dynamic conversations, making it a perfect testing ground for NVIDIA's Llama 3.1 Nemetron. Now, when we take a look at the results, I've got to say they're pretty fascinating. On the leaderboard, without any style control Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70 billion scores, just two points above Jept 4 Turbo and other top models. But what's style control, you ask? Well, it's how a model formats its response. For example, sometimes when you ask ChatGPT a question, it might give you a bulleted list, while another AI system might respond with a sentence instead. The format can really affect how helpful humans perceive the response to be. So what's cool here is that despite different formatting styles, Llama 3.1 Nemetron still manages to edge out Jet 4 Turbo on the leaderboard. Although interestingly, it's still scoring just behind models like 01 Mini and 01 Preview. Also, we don't see Gemini's latest model on this list yet, which would be exciting to compare when it eventually makes an appearance. Now, if we strip away the style control, the performance differences between these models become a bit more noticeable. But here's the thing, seeing a 70 billion model like Llama 3.1 Nemetron perform this well is still pretty remarkable. It shows that even after training is complete, the way you guide and fine-tune these models can lead to significant improvements, enough to potentially close the gap with state-of-the-art models. Honestly, this is the kind of stuff that keeps surprising me. Some of you might be thinking, okay, NVIDIA pulled it off, they got this model to outperform the competition in benchmarks, but what does that mean for the real-world questions I might throw at it? Well, benchmarks are great, but the real test comes down to how the model handles the kind of queries you're actually interested in and the beauty of it. You can try it out yourself. It's up to you to ask it anything, whether it's something straightforward or a complex, multi-step question. The potential here is pretty exciting. So what I decided to do was ask this model a few questions. The GSM new paper, this paper from Apple basically claims that large language models, LLMs struggle with reasoning. The first question I tested is a reasoning-based one designed to throw in irrelevant information and see how the model handles it. Here's an example. The question talks about Liam buying school supplies and then throws in some extra info about how inflation made prices 10% cheaper last year totally irrelevant to the actual question. The real task is simple. Just figure out how much Liam should pay based on the current prices provided. Now what's fascinating is how different models deal with this. For instance, OpenAI's top model, 01 Preview surprisingly gets tripped up. It miscalculates because it tries to incorporate the irrelevant inflation detail. So this shows the downside of overly rewarding models for reasoning steps sometimes, they overthink it. In cases like this, what you really need is for the model to cut through the noise, focus on the core of the question, and give a straightforward answer. So I ran this same tricky question through the 7T model to see if it would get it right on the first try. Unfortunately, it didn't. But honestly, that's not surprising. Remember, the research paper behind this question shocked everyone, and most models struggle with it. But don't get me wrong, this doesn't mean the model is bad at reasoning. What I did next was apply a tip I found in another research paper, or maybe it was a blog post can't quite remember. And this simple trick can seriously boost your model's performance on tougher reasoning tasks. If you're dealing with a difficult question and want your AI to perform better, just ask it to reread the question. That's it. No extra context, no complicated prompts, just ask the model to go back and reread it. I tried this with the smaller model, and all I did was say, reread the question, without adding anything else. And here's where it gets interesting after rereading, the model actually caught on. It realized that the extra inflation info in the prompt was irrelevant. It finally gave the correct answer, saying the current prices were all that mattered, and the inflation detail had no effect on what effects should pay now. Sometimes the intelligence is already there in the model, you just need to bring it out with clever prompting. This is where good prompt engineering really shines. I've got to say, this model is impressively smart. I threw a question at it that OpenAI's 01 model had failed a different one from before, but still with irrelevant info mixed in. The question was about picking QIS, and the key detail was that the size of the QIS, whether smaller or larger, didn't actually change the total count. Surprisingly, many models, including 01 Mini, missed this, 
but when I gave it to this new model, it nailed it. The model correctly recognized that Oliver had a total of 190 QS and understood that the size variation didn't impact the overall count. This tells me that this model reasons more effectively than most, thanks to the way it's been trained using reward modeling. Now here's something even more interesting another test that involved counting letters in a word. There's this prompt people have been using to test models, asking how many RS are in the word strawberry. Surprisingly, many top models like JEP4, Claude 3.5, and Llama 3.1 all failed this one. They all gave the wrong count, saying there were only two RS. But using the reward modeling method applied to this new model, it managed to get it right. So while other models struggled, this one stood out, showing that the reward model approach really enhances its ability to reason and answer accurately, even when other models fail. So in the grand scheme of things, it's clear that open source models are once again pulling ahead of their closed source counterparts. So, but this raises an interesting point. Are we on the verge of seeing even larger, more advanced frontier models with even better reasoning abilities? It certainly feels like we're right on the cusp. The last time open source models closed the gap, we saw a rapid leap in performance from the closed source companies with their next generation models pushing the envelope even further. So it's going to be fascinating to see what happens next in this ongoing race. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment and share your experiences with Llama 3.170 billion instruct. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how it performs. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of AI.